Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. For Real Agriculture, I'm Kelvin Hepner, and uh, pleased to be joined once again by Morgan Cott of the Manitoba Crop Alliance. And Morgan, when it comes to uh, BT corn and uh, the trait working in uh, in preventing or, or uh, minimizing damage from European corn borer, what do we need to be aware of in terms of uh, some new developments on that front? Right. So. Several years ago, 2018, not too many years ago, I guess we found, or not we found, but in Nova Scotia there was uh, European corn borer samples that were um, plucked from the field and determined to be um, tolerant to one of the genes that we use for BT corn. So it's called Cry1F, um, which is used in a few of our uh, hybrids that we use here in Manitoba as well. So as a result of that, we in Manitoba were checking for um, just gathering European corn borer samples and sampling them for testing them for that resistance or that tolerance as well. Um, and we did find one field to uh, be positive for that tolerant larvae. So we know that that is a possibility in Manitoba um, that we have this tolerance to the Cry1F protein that is found in some of our earlier hybrids in Manitoba. So it's something to just recognize when you're choosing your hybrids or know at least what gene you're working with, which is really simple to find out. So it should be on the label actually. Um, and so as a result of that finding, those findings in 2018 and 19, um, the researchers ramped up that survey a bit more and across Canada, we have been surveying fields. Um, John Glavosky in Manitoba, of course, has been instrumental in that in Manitoba, um, looking for um, more samples and to see if that's more widespread. Um, in Nova Scotia in 2022, another sample that was pulled from that same field that was found to be tolerant before, um, they were, f they got larvae samples that were found to be tolerant to another protein that we commonly use um, in a lot of hybrids that we have access to in Manitoba and Maritimes and even in um, Ontario and Quebec, I believe that they'll have access to that. Um, so that's a bigger issue and we're trying to understand why that happened, but we're also trying to just uh, get that word out to Manitoba growers that um, since we found the tolerance once before, it's possible that we could find it here. Um, so not a major concern yet, but um, I think that a lot of corn growers that are growing BT hybrids are not scouting as much because it's sort of a leave it and forget it thing. We have the refuge, we've, we're doing kind of the right things, choosing our hybrids properly, um, but the messaging that we would like to get out is to certainly be scouting for European corn borer um, and excessive damage that might um, be outside of that 5% refuge. So that's kind of what we'll be looking for in the future. Okay. Is this more of an issue in shorter season corn varieties or growing areas because mm -hmm. of where this protein is, is used? Right, so the Cry1F was certainly found in shorter hybrids, mm -hmm. um, so that would be a good indication of why we found it in Nova Scotia and why we found it in Manitoba, because those hybrids were being planted here, um, and fairly commonly in 1819, that timing. Um, but this, the new gene that has just been discovered as uh, having tolerant larvae um, will be more widespread, far more okay. widespread. So it's just a matter of, so our, our genetics that we have, the hybrids that we have tend to stack a little bit. We don't just have single trait. Um, so that's a positive, but to have the Cry1F and Cry1AB is more common. So mm -hmm. it's just something that we still need to rotate. I mean, resistance is the first thing that we're talking about nowadays this year. And so it just happens to be another thing that we really need to be working on our insect, integrated pest management for insects as yeah. well. Yeah, we talk about resistance when it comes to weeds and diseases, insects as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. For sure, we have to do that, and it's just looking like it's not going to let up. So. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll stay tuned, certainly, uh, if there are new developments on this front. Thanks for your time, Morgan. Thank you.